Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Pisces. Pisces, this is a Jupiter and Pisces energy shift reading. Um, this is a transit that's happening for the first time since 2010, 2011, and it represents a huge energy shift. So Jupiter expands on what it touches. So when it travels through Pisces, we have an expansion of spirituality, sensitivity, and a heightened focus on unity consciousness. So this is especially potent for twin flames and soulmates coming into union. Um, because this transit is all about oneness and forgiveness, so especially important for those of you who are in separation. So during this transit, we're going to feel, or during the next couple of years, we are going to feel our empathy grow, and the cosmos is going to encourage all of us to dream new dreams. Jupiter and Pisces amplifies innovation and spiritual revelation. Pisces also rules sleep. So many of us who have been restless or anxious or stressed will be able to use this period as a time to heal, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this. As I'm doing the reading, I'm just gonna ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, Pisces, so let's go ahead and check out your energy coming into this transit. Wow, so we've got three cards that popped out, five of wands in reverse, king of wands, and we've got the five of cups in reverse. I'm going to actually keep all of them here for you guys. They wanted to come out. This is beautiful because this is about coming out of conflict. This is also about healing. So remember, those of you where this pertains to like a love relationship or a twin flame journey in particular, or a deep soulmate connection, what I'm seeing is you guys really stepping into your power here, okay? Coming out of conflict, bringing about stability in your relationships, and doing a lot of healing. So whether that allows you to move forward or whether that means a reconciliation for you, Pisces, only you guys are going to know. But beautiful. The King of Wands, you guys are in your power. Some of you might be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or you have fire placements. Um, this is also extremely good for business. Um, the King of Wands is also very spiritual energy. Um, you know, oftentimes we think of wands as passion and sexual energy and entrepreneurship and this sort of thing, which it, which the suit embodies all of those things. But Pisces, it's also extremely spiritual. Mm, I love it. All right. So let's go ahead and see what is shifting for you guys. So what is shifting for my Pisces? we have the judgment in reverse. Okay, so for many of you guys, um, you know, it's karma. Um, judgment is about ascension and growth. So you might have felt, um, you might be feeling like you're switching timelines here. Um, you're leaving certain people and situations behind that no longer serve you. Many of you guys, you've generated some beautiful relationship karma, whether that's in love and romance or within the family or in business, whatever it might be. And that's why you're in this very powerful energy of attraction. And with the judgment card, it's about, you know, not judging yourself or others too harshly, but knowing what needs to drop away and recognizing that lower vibrational energies are being removed for you so that you can attract something beautiful, something new. All right, now what is expanding and growing for you? We have the Ace of Cups. Wow. So absolutely, for those of you where this is a, a journey in love or romance, I mean, you are just going to be overflowing with emotion. For some of you guys, you are healing from the past and you're attracting something new, but for others, this can be a reconciliation. Now, if it doesn't pertain to you with love and romance, Pisces, this is about whatever is you are so passionate about. This is a brand new beginning, a huge blessing from the universe. Now we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is energy. Um, this energy does speak of a little bit of a lack of stability. So I do feel like many of you guys who have been experiencing a lack of stability in your relationships, um, maybe you were you just weren't attracting people that were that serious or that shared the same vision as you. Um, I see that all changing. I especially pick up on an energy for those of you who are in separation, my twins, or you feel like you know this is a very deep soul contract. Many of you guys you 
you've separated it may you may have gone different ways and you may be like trying to attract other people I feel like there's a lack of satisfaction okay like not being able to call in the right type of person and a little bit of an element of frustration but what I see here also with the judgment card and the king of pentacles in reverse here Pisces is this is also about your focus is shifting away from the 3d so it's like as you're attracting I see you attracting love and abundance and all these new and beautiful opportunities what I'm seeing here though is that you're becoming as we should with this transit with Jupiter and Pisces much more spiritual your focus isn't so much on things it's on you know how you feel what you love and then also this huge sort of psychic upgrade and awareness and really sort of stepping into your spiritual powers so some of you guys you're going to be you're going to be noticing that you can you know channel channel passed on loved ones um, that you have healing abilities you know you're getting your set your your psychic senses are all just like they're going to really sky rocket skyrocket at this time and it's a huge gift from the universe a huge a huge nod the time is now you're ready you're leaving behind anything low vibrational um, because that's where you are on your path and you were meant to ascend and that's exactly what you're doing so we get the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I love this energy for you guys actually as an outcome because the Knight of Pentacles is a very loyal energy. This is sort of the soldier, the one who just sort of trudges along, the one who take, takes orders. Something really major is shifting for you, Pisces. And I feel like it's your focus on the 3D. It's almost like, you know, the veil is lifting for you and you're going to see what's really, truly important, not only in love relationships and your friendships and in family and that sort of thing, but it's also also with what you do some of you guys are moving into much more spiritually based businesses or you're recognizing and you're using your intuitive gifts in whatever you do in your love life in your business and your you know that sort of thing um and it's this energy, it's this beautiful energy of a shift away from the 3D. It's moving beyond the ego and it's powerful here, Pisces. Your overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords. So what I'm getting here from the Seven of Swords is, you know, this is what I'm, this is all oh, beautiful with the Fool underneath and the Lovers. Wow. And the High Priestess. I knew she was lurking somewhere in this reading. So there's this upgrade to these spiritual gifts. For many of you guys, um, those of you, you may have been, you might be in separate from your twin flame or a soulmate whether you know them or not it doesn't necessarily mean you know that this is somebody from your past okay it could just be this feeling um, if you you know if it's not a, if, if, if you don't know who your twin is um, you might have already started dreaming about this person or sensing some sort of shift or that somebody's coming into your life and that's what I'm getting here with the four of wands in reverse you're holding out you're waiting because you can you feel things are shifting there's a huge blessing coming your way psychic upgrade so really trust this this is your energy you coming into alignment and then we see you and someone else coming into a, an alignment for a brand new beginning and for many of you guys this is my twin flames or my soulmates um, but regardless Pisces you're ready for a new beginning and you're actually seeing things very clearly because what I see with the seven of swords this is just it's tying into this judgment energy this judgment card it's about taking what you've learned it's about changing the way you've been doing things, the way that you've been looking at things and doing it differently. And it's it's looking at the world and your life through a much more, from a higher perspective, from a spiritual lens is the word that they're giving me. So it's really, it's powerful stuff going on, you guys. It's a huge shift for for my dear Pisces out there that you guys are probably going to be feeling this pretty strong. Now we do have, um, you know, it is going to retrograde for a bit, but this transit does take place over the next couple of years. Um, and for the most part, it's going to stay in your sign. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what other messages come through for my dear Pisces. We get appreciation. Yeah, beautiful. So I do feel like, um, you know, what I'm feeling here, Pisces, is that you're like, because you're seeing things from a higher perspective with this shift, I feel like what you, I feel like your tastes are changing. I feel like, you know, those who don't appreciate you, you're turning your back on them. You're no longer in this energy of having to prove your worth or trying to get people to like you. Um, and again, I feel like this really coincides with this shift away from the 3D. Like you're realizing that like the stuff in your life doesn't make you happy. It's like the essence of things. And I really love this energy. And I think you're also really like your tastes are also changing. And that's why you're going to see people in situations that are lower vibrational are just going to 
to kind of drop away. I almost see you guys coming into contact. You know, many of you might be star seeds, um, you know, but many of you guys, regardless if you consider yourself a star seed or not, many of you guys are, you know, you're just going to see like your life being completely sort of reworked, but little by little. Um, and it's just, it's this different, it's this different perspective that you take to everything. Okay. That you have on everything. It's, it's a brand new beginning. You know, this is a restart Pisces. This is happiness. Okay. For some of you, you're calling in your divine masculine, or maybe you're calling in your divine feminine, but this is a brand new beginning. That's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And we see this with the ACE of cups. It's emotionally fulfilling for you financial constraints. So those of you who have been suffering, and this is beautiful because we see this with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Those of you guys whose focus has been too much on the 3D, you're going to realize that you've been in this mentality or in this energy of lack. That is shifting because you guys are, you're entering, you're, you're really putting, you have a finger on the pulse of how to manifest with that King of Wands, how to attract what it is you want and what it is you need when it comes to love, career, finances, your relationships. But more than anything, it's almost because you're focusing much less on the material and it's gorgeous. All right. And we see the first chakra, Archangel Michael. So reminding us that we are totally protected and guided. There may be a little bit of a mistrust because I feel like things that you guys have relied on and um, things that you have done for a very long time, Pisces, are shifting. The way that you do things, the way that you see things, people, situations, stuff, the 3D, you know, everything that encompasses is completely shifting for you. And we see the thinking woman, so 47 breaks down to an 11, so a little nod here to my twin flames. You guys are on this ascension process, and many of you guys, it may be you, it may be your twin, um, but it's this shift away from the 3D and seeing what's truly important and focusing on that spiritual connection, on that unity consciousness that's bringing you guys into union. Okay, but again, that's not going to be for all of you. Not all of you believe in twin flames or are on a twin flame journey, um, but what I'm seeing here is regardless, there's an, a major awakening and ascension taking place. And we see that here with the judgment card in reverse. And unfortunately, you're going to see, but it seems unfortunate, right, when we're looking at it from now, that people and things are going to be dropping away from your life, but they're going to be replaced with um, with a different type of energy, a different type of person, true soul tribe members, people who have your back, people that appreciate you. So we see the Empress of the Night. So finale, after the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. So there may be some difficulties as we go through this transit, okay? Um, because there's a major shift here taking place, but you have to recognize that it's all happening. You're on this path to happiness, okay? With the Sun card and the Ace of Cups, emotional fulfillment. This is the universe gifting you this fresh start, this new start. And we get mother of the sea goddess. I I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. So if that's not Piscean energy, I don't know what is, right? But what we're seeing here is that you're surrendering to the universe. You're allowing this to take place. You're 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 allowing you, you know, and I see this this king of wands being very discerning. Um, you know, very discerning about these changes, but he understands that, you know what, it's time that I try to control things less and that I step into the flow. 44 is about stability. It's also about perseverance and growth, but you're also going to see that you persevere and you manage these shifts and these changes um, and these transits by going with the flow. That's how you persevere. Okay. So I love this energy for you guys. All right. I love this energy and it hasn't been easy. Okay. It absolutely hasn't been easy with the judgment card in reverse. I can see that you guys have been through a lot and you're also going to be appreciating all of that. Okay. You know, because we see this storm energy, okay. That the difficulties that you've been through, but you know, we see, I emerge a shiny new star and we see the sun coming out and things being absolutely gorgeous. Everything falling into place here. Okay, and we get, you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness and face your true north. Wow, <laughs> I love this. That's absolutely true. And for many of you, I do feel like some of you guys, for my twins who are in separation, you're going to realize, you know, because I do feel many of you guys are coming into union. Um, but what, what I'm seeing here is that... Um, you're going to sort of realize when you meet your person or you come into union or come back into union with your twin, you know, that they just get you, okay, that they just get you, that there's a sense of ease around this. 
So you're being called to embrace your uniqueness with your card, your own weirdness, and let the world see who you really truly are, okay? And that's why we see this judgment card in reverse, letting go of these falsehoods, letting go of, you know, the 3D stuff or hiding behind material things. Not that I'm saying that you guys are materialistic and that sort of thing, but there, it feels like there was something here that was dimming your light, okay? Because you were trying to get someone or other people to appreciate you or to like you. And again, it's not because you're in some like sycophantic energy here, um, but it's like to let the world to see, let the world see who you really are. This is where you're going to have your beautiful success to reveal your multifaceted and multidimensional nature. Don't dim your light according to who is in your presence. Allow all parts of yourself that you're, so that your people, the ones who are the same kind of weird as you can recognize you when you cross paths. Yeah. And that's what I've been picking up throughout this reading. Definitely releasing, you know, releasing, just releasing situations and people that, you know, that you felt like you had to dim your light or were purposely trying to dim your light. Okay. Just letting yourself shine. All right. And allowing, you know, allowing yourself to surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. And we see this person on a cliff. It's a very full type energy, right? It's about starting a new journey, trusting that you're ready. You're ready to be rebirthed here. So we get no limitations. Beautiful. So you are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There's so much for you to share. Absolutely. And this is your energy, the King of Wands. You're ready. You're ready. Inner alchemy. Gorgeous. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. Okay. So anything that might have been holding you back, you might have been a little bit afraid to allow your true light to shine, to face your true north. Okay. But now it's like, I don't care. This is who I am. This is what I want in doing. So if you guys are trying to attract love or your twin or soulmate in particular, this person, this is you turning your heart light on your true heart light and calling this person in. And we get stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. Remember, there's not much that you have to do, you know, with the surrendering to the creative flow of the ocean and to the universe. You are naturally, naturally emerging. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. What a beautiful, beautiful reading for you guys. The messages here are potent and powerful. So I hope you find clarity and guidance. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.